Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, I actually decided to do something off-screen. I went north, into an area north of where we I finished the last episode. I'll show you how to get here, but uh, basically what you gotta do to get this rare game that I wanted to spawn off-screen was you have to wait around in this area for, I heard, three minutes without killing any cactars, and then you'll be in pretty good shape. Uh, the Greedon will spawn then. He starts with Protect and Shell, so I've already been waiting for about 30 seconds, so it should wear off any minute now. There we go. Okay, so the reason you want to wait for Shell to wear off is because uh, what Shell does is it also reduces debuff accuracy and we want to get these buffs back or debuffs on him as quickly as possible because if you don't nuts we didn't get slow on him yeah because if you don't he'll re i think he reestablishes shell eventually or maybe something like that i don't know but anyway i would like to try and keep the boss's attention on me if i can yeah you absolutely want blind on this guy or he will kill you Okay, come on. Get over here. Get over here. I don't want to aggro anyone else. Damn it. He's casting shell. He's not paying attention to me. Okay. Get over here. I don't want to aggro the cockatrices. Come on. Okay, we're just going to have to go all out then. Damn it. We aggroed the cockatrices. Hopefully we won't aggro the fish too. I tried killing as many enemies as I could, so that way we wouldn't aggro any other enemies, but apparently my plan failed. Whoa! Did... No, Blind didn't wear off. Uh, he just got a lucky hit in on us, I guess. So yeah, we gotta use a Phoenix down there. Here, you heal, use, use your potions. I don't want the charge, I don't want to deal with the charge time. Oh, he's... Oh, nuts. Now we got blind on ourselves. Okay, we got to use blind now. That's why I got that license there earlier. Please don't hit us. Come on! Ugh. I have blind on the guy. He can't hit me that often. Okay, blind now. Potion. Potion. Maybe I'll actually be able to get to attack the guy sooner or later. There we go. Okay. Now let's try that one again. Do we still have blind on him? Okay. You want to check that periodically because... Uh-oh. You want to check on his blind periodically because it will wear off eventually. And why don't you blind enough yourself? Unfortunately, Fran's HP is not so great, so he can't survive too many... Or she can't survive too many hits from the guy. And eh, let him finish his attack. Yeah, you might want to heal yourself up there. Nuts! Wow, this guy is kicking my ass. Good thing I got plenty of Phoenix Downs, but... Man, usually this guy's not that hard for me. And I've still got blind on him! He's getting all of his critical hits through my blind! I don't know what to tell you, viewers. Just keep on going all out at the guy, I guess. Let's cure Bosh. How about you try to reestablish slow on the guy? Oh, I'm surprised slow wore off before blind did. Oh, he's got shell! No, uh, don't even bother. Just go all out. I don't care about you, Bosh. Sorry. We've almost got the guy anyway. Although, I could use a good potion. Wow, you see, he's getting his multi-hit rate up because he's at crit right now. Come on, finish him. Man, these rare games are giving me a hard time. I didn't expect... Okay, just go all out. Okay, we'll try to finish him off. Balthier, you heal yourself. Okay, come on. We almost got him. 
Come on. Yeah! There we go. And he survived with one HP! Woohoo! Okay. Whew! Wow, that was tough. Maybe we shouldn't have tried going after him so early. Okay. How many Phoenix Downs do I got left? Okay, I've got enough, but uh, wow. Okay, yeah, let's just head on up to the town. We could have come here earlier in the game, but, well, as you can see, it's already hard enough at the levels that I'm already at. So, phew! But yeah, the way to spawn that rare game, like I said, wait three minutes in the area, don't kill any cactars while you're doing it, and it's pretty much a guaranteed uh, rare game spawn, unlike the other ones which have like a percent chance. So, this one's pretty nice. Where is... Uh, there it is. Let's take a look at the rare game entry. Oh, well, there we go. No, no, get out of there. There we go. Well, where is everyone? We're waiting for them to spawn? Yes, we are! Okay. That should revive Bosch. Yes, okay, good, good. Uh, I love going after the rare games. It gives me something to do while I'm... Uh, well, while I'm waiting to get to the next plot point, I guess. Huh. Well, let me see if I can do something to help you out. Thank you. Yeah, they got some pretty nice people around here. I like this little village. Uh, sure, why not? Oh. What a shame. You can't give me more of your money. Oh. Well, it's better than being gone for two weeks. Wonder what happened to them. Hmm. Sure, why not? Oh. Oh, you could try swimming over there. I can see the other village. Ah, oh. Remember that for later, viewers. Okay. How's it going? Oh. Yeah, I got... Yeah, remember from the flowering cactar quest? Well, now we bring it to her and we get a bundle of needles, which we basically just sell, pretty much. It's trash loot. Oh. Nuts. If only. Secret seashells! Yeah, pretty much. Sure, why not? Well, okay, I'll take a look around then. See if I can find any of them. Is there anything back here? Oh, here we go. Nuts. There's a item shop there if you want to sell some loot, but uh, eh, there's nothing that interesting that I want to buy right now. So We can't even see the fairy from over here. You know, the draw distance isn't that good yet. Oh, well. Oh, hey, what do we got here? A secret seashell! The Nebra is the name of the river, river here, by the way, just so you know. Message in a bottle, huh? Remember that for later, viewers. I like the NPCs in this little village. Now let's see, if we go over here, we find a secret seashell! Let's go find the other ones. They're not in this village. We gotta leave the village in order to find them. This is another little side quest that you can do. You don't need all of the shells, but it's a good idea. It, it gives you a better reward if you do later on in the game. Much later in the game. But, yeah. Fortunately, I've killed most of the enemies here, so getting the other ones should be relatively easy. There's five total that you can get. Yeah, let's take care of this guy. Hey, Fishy, you are dinner. Not for me, but uh, for someone else. We don't even need to use thunder on him. There we go. Let's see, yeah, just keep on looking for these sparkles there. There's one there. Let's see, there's another one around here somewhere in the middle. Did I? No, no, I didn't pass that. Ah, there it is. There's Secret Seashell, number four. And I think there's one more. Yes, there it is. 
Secret Seashell! Number five. All right. I'll get my revenge on you later, Cockatrices. You will see, viewers. We will get our revenge for ambushing me during that rare game fight. But yeah, the uh, fish scales, those are really good to steal from these guys because they have they sell for a pretty penny there. Okay, well, let's return the seashells to the... To, well, to the lady there. Dantro's wife. That's her full name. Dantro wife. She doesn't get a real name. Not, af not after you get married, you, you lose your last name. But anyway. But I like how they handle the side quests here. Just a give you a little more background on what life is like out here in the desert. It sucks! But it's nice to know. Neberlim, huh? Sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. We're going to have to walk all the way back there eventually, so let's get started. You could use the gate crystal there to teleport to the outpost. But I could use the LP anyway. Oh no, you can't teleport to the outpost. You can teleport to Robin Aster and then walk back there. You can't teleport to the outpost, which is why we have to walk there. Oh, you know what? There is one other thing I could show you. Sure, why not? I got a little bit of time. I got a lot of time. I have all the time in the world for you guys. Uh, oh, we can't target him anymore? Oh, he got out of range. Nuts. Freaking wolves ambushing me. I thought I killed all of them already. Oh, well. But anyway, remember someone was telling us about the key to the Barheim Passage? Well, let's head on over here. Well, I got most of the treasure around here already off screen. So basically what I did while I was waiting the three minutes for the guy to spawn was I just walked around here and killed a whole bunch of enemies. So... It's good for the LP. We're going to need a lot of it in the near future. So, let's see what this is. Huh. There's a door with a keyhole, but we don't have a way of getting in there. Remember that for later, viewers. Let's see. Is there anything there? Or, hmm. It's right next to the Barheim Passage. Hmm. But no way we can get in there now. Remember the guy said the boss uh, lost, or he had the key, but he's in. he got trapped inside. So, not much we can do with that now. So, okay, well, let's get back to where I ended the last episode. The previous episode. Whatever. I'll leave you alone today, Cactar. Anyone gets in my way, I'm killing you. Otherwise, you get to live. Yeah, you see, I already killed most of the enemies around here. So anyway, this connects to where I ended the last episode. So if you're wondering how to get to where I was for the uh, the rare game, that's how. So let's head on down to... Well, before we get to the outpost, we want, I'm going to make a pit stop on the way there. I want to head to the... How am I doing on LP, by the way? Oh, no, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, oh, I'm doing pretty good on LP. Usually I don't have quite this much at this point but I do so I wanted to have about 140 for Vaughn by the time I got back to Robin Oster so we're a little ahead of schedule so all right I'm surprised too because usually I have to kill like 20 cockatrices to get that neck bet rare game to spawn from last time but well, not today apparently pinty hat I don't know why a wolf is wearing a hat this isn't Final Fantasy 13 2. Oop, no, 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 no. There we go. Die, cockatrices, die! Rip your feathers right off of you while you're still alive. Just like the rats, we take their pelts off of them. Skin them a lot. Oh, wait a minute. Is there a treasure over there? And I just got so caught up in my revenge on the cockatrices. A lot of people have been asking me, H.C. Bailey, why do you hate cockatrices so much? 
my response is, you guys haven't played Final Fantasy 1, have you? Ever since my childhood, well, and VLP for that matter, I had a bad experience in the Earth Cave. You remember the Earth Cave, right, viewers? Yeah. Yeah, well, it is what it is. It's still an awesome game, though. See, when I was your age, I remember vividly standing in line at the Kmart for to buy Final Fantasy 1. I, I remember that. And it was $60 back then for that game. Holy cow. And that was high-tech stuff back then. Oh, I wanted to steal from him. Well, whatever. So let's see, we want to head... Oh! Wow, I really took a, the long way around. Well, okay, we'll go this way now. But yeah, I had to save my allowance up for two months! Just to buy that one game! It's totally worth it. I mean, heck, I only was getting paid, like, I think, five dollars a week at the time, or something. But then again, I was only working like one hour a week, so well, there you go. Nowadays, forget about it. I pay people to do chores for me. Of course, I suppose maybe that's why some people have children. Not me, I have other things that I want to do. Like play more video games. All right, well, we've made it back to Nalbana. I could have come back, I could have just warped back here, but, well, usually I don't end up, or usually I don't make a pit stop here like I did earlier in the game. But what will the people have to say about Basha's return to Robin Oster and Dalmasca? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!